milkshake zombie tutorial. All files for this tutorial as well as a uh, high quality video download and some other stuff can be found at milkshakezombie.com which is my site. In this tutorial we're going to show you a good configuration for modeling and blend for source. We're going to start with a fresh install of Blender, install SMD Tools Python script which is a collaborative script which was written on the Facebunch forums as far as I know. I didn't write it myself. Um, and then we're going to set up a reference uh, model in Blender just for scale to make it easier to transfer stuff over to Hammer. So first thing we're going to do, I have hosted the Python script that we're going to be using on my site, milkshakezombie.com. Uh, go to the tutorials, but you'll see this the link for the tutorial here. And here we have download blend files, download other files. Download other files is smdtools.zip. I've uploaded this because they're going to keep updating this, hopefully, and it might get outdated. So this tutorial will work with this version. Go to save file if you're using Firefox. If not, get Firefox. Uh, open containing folder. This is all my other stuff. But what I like to do is copy it, go into my Blender, uh, into my Blender directory, and I like to just drop it in there just in case. This way I know that this is an uncorrupted and working version of the script and it's easier to find later as I go to install it in Blender. So we will extract this here. Blender, yep. Extract that one. So here you see it's popped up here, iosmdtools.py. That is our Python script. Now you go into Blender here, get rid of the splash screen. This is the default layout. Uh, I often use a different layout, but I didn't want to confuse things. Go up here to File, User Preferences. You can also press Control Alt U to bring this up. You'll come up with this screen. Click on the button up the top here. It says Add-ons to see all the add-ons you can install. Now, a default Blender won't come up with your add-on, so you have to click on Install Add-on and then find your Blender file. So mine should be in E, Blender Foundation, Blender, there it is, iosmdtools.py. Double click, and it'll come out like this. It's not installed yet. What you have to do now is it's an import export script. So go into import export, and you see down here, import export SMD tools. Click on that. That's installed it. Now down here it says save as default. You can click that if you want, but that means every single time you open up Blender, this window here will pop up, and I don't like that, so I don't save it yet. I can just get out of that window and then press Control U, save user settings. There you go. So now I'll have my default, but I'll also have this. These tools are available to me. To get into the main tools area, you go into your Scene button here, scroll down a bit, and you'll see SMD Export, and we'll go into that. I'll go into how it exactly works in a different tutorial, just to go over the basics. Alright, so we've got our SMD tools all ready to go, but if we had, if we were to make a model now and export it and compile it, we have no way to tell exactly the scale that we should be modeling for. So what I'm going to do is append my reference model, which is an Alex reference which has been extracted from source. Um, I've got also got this file on the tutorials site. It's under download blend files, so we just download that. It's also a zip file. AlexReference.zip, open containing folder. Again, I'm going to copy it and put it in my Blender directory, just so I know where it is. And we'll extract it there. This is 7-Zip, which is a different program. It's a good it's a good free zip program, I reckon. Anyway, we'll go into Blender. I'm going to append this so that if I if you have different user defaults, if you have were to just load that blend file, it would load the user defaults from that blend file. So if we append it, we just import the model into this file. How you do that is press Shift F1. You can also press just F1, but I like to press Shift F1, I don't know why. And then go and find 
where you put the oh, that's not the right one. Go and find where you put the model. Just in my Blender directory. There you go. Reference .blend. Open that up. Object. Alex reference dot zero zero one. That is the Alex model. And as you can see there, it's pretty big. So if you were if you were to model to scale of the camera, it would be way too small. So there we go. This is that's all I ever do. That's for my configuration for source. Um, we've got our SMD tools here ready to go and our reference. So it's easy as that. Um, again, if you want to have a look at anything I've got here, I'm going to start doing some more tutorials. So check back later. Thanks for watching.